A throat swab is most often performed to diagnose streptococcal pharyngitis and less commonly to diagnose gonococcal pharyngitis. To perform a throat swab, you will need sterile throat swabs, Dacron or Rayon, which usually come in a swab transport tube with culture media. One or two swabs may come in a tube. You will also need a tongue depressor. Culture plates with appropriate culture agar, for example Thayer Martin or Jembeck, with carbon dioxide releasing tablet, are required instead of transport media if your laboratory requires that specimens for diagnosis of gonococcal pharyngitis be sent plated. A throat swab can be performed with the child supine or sitting on the bed. The sitting position is preferred because it allows better visualization of and access to the tonsils and posterior pharynx. It may be helpful to have patients who are sitting rest their head against the raised head of the bed. It is ideal to have infants and young children sit on the bed on the caregiver's lap or between the caregiver's legs. Although the procedure is not painful, even the most cooperative pediatric patients, including older children and adolescents, are likely to find it objectionable and may require restraint. For the child who requires restraint of both the hands and head, have a parent or caregiver use one of their hands to hold the child's arms against their body and the other hand to hold the child's forehead. An alternative is to have an assistant hold the child's arms above and firmly against the child's head. Open the tube and remove the swabs. Depress the tongue with the tongue depressor to allow visualization of and access to the tonsils and posterior pharynx. In the seemingly cooperative child, this can most easily be accomplished by instructing them to open their mouth, stick out their tongue, and say, ah. In the uncooperative patient who is crying, take advantage of the opportunity to insert the tongue depressor while the mouth is open. Children who refuse to open their mouth may open their mouth enough to insert the tongue depressor, and with gentle pressure on the tongue, you can visualize the posterior oropharynx. Swab both tonsils and posterior pharynx, particularly exudative patches, with one or both swabs simultaneously. Making sure that all surfaces of the swab have had contact with tonsils and or pharynx ensures that if the swab is plated for culture, a surface that has contacted the tonsils and or pharynx will contact the plate. Avoid contact with the soft palate, uvula, tongue, buccal mucosa, and lips. Once the specimen has been collected, place the swabs in the transport tube. Label immediately and send to the lab for rapid strep test and or culture as soon as possible. For kit use or culture plating, follow the instructions and or the recommendations of your laboratory.